crazy. Um, before this clip, it actually took me like, I literally had to take out everything in my purse to find this camera. This is the end result. I probably should go through my purse. Anyways, I just put on this L'Oreal face mask and it's, a, it's supposed to help your pores because my pores are not good right now. They sent me this package and it's really cool. Here, I'll show you. It comes with this one, which is what I'm using. I look crazy right now. I also, of course, added a Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat. <laughs> okay, so we're watching Life of Kylie. Eric is here with my dogs. <laughs> Cindy's here. Got the popcorn. Alex is here. <laughs> we're gonna watch it. We're gonna do good face mask. But face mask now. I'm vlogging. <laughs> wow, I look crazy. It's like a ham. Me too. <laughs> we got face masks and we just watched Life of Kylie and now we're gonna do a little review. <laughs> So we just finished Life of Kylie. What'd you guys think? We'll do like a 10 out of stars, 10 stars? Out of 10? Yeah, <laughs> 10 stars. I'd give it like a seven to eight. Yeah, so yeah I'd say seven. I feel like she talked about herself like wanting to think normal too much. Like, I expected to be more like, like keeping up with the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. I, like she seems kind of cool, like she seems like a fun person. No, Which I feel you like wouldn't it was really repetitive. There was a lot of commercials. Yeah, there was too many. Like you probably could have like included everything in like one episode. But yeah. I mean, I think she seems like a cool person. She, I kind of get it in a way with like, not on her level, obviously, but like trying to like feel normal. Mm -hmm. The show definitely like gave an insight on that because you wouldn't get that from her Snapchat mm -hmm. at all. Like the prom thing, like that seems like like that was crazy. Like they couldn't even have prom. Like, yeah, like that was insane. Like, 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 there. like that like ruined prom. I think. Yeah, like my prom like I've been. <laughs> <laughs> on like you yeah and then I feel like I feel like the whole prom yeah. was like focused on her like that sucks that was nice of her to do that yeah it was really sweet Albert been to prom <laughs> yeah Albert I thought he yeah. was cute I don't know why he got bully he seemed like a nice yeah. young man I'm like excited for like more episodes of yeah. I like the concept yeah that's our little review <laughs> how'd you like it did you like it she's like what do you have she on your face <laughs> get back on my vlogging game because I suck low-key. Anyway, so I just got home from filming a couple clips for a fall video, which I'm super excited about. Let me set you guys down. I wanted to catch up a little bit because um, a lot has been happening. I feel like the world is like testing me right now. I don't know why. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like, don't know. So a lot's been going on in my life. I mentioned like two weeks ago that I got a new car and I was like posting hints on my Snapchat. Definitely add me on Snapchat. It's Miley Saray. So a lot of you guys were asking like what kind of car I got and like why. I didn't really find the need to like buy a new car. I had a Mazda 3 and I got it when I was 15 and a half, right when I got my permit. Hi guys, here's my baby. I don't know what I should name her or him. So I've almost had it for like four and a half, five years and that was my first car. I thought I would like, you know, let you guys know like why I got a new car and like what happened because my Mazda 3 was already paid off. So I was like, I don't really like find the need to like buy a new car because this one works perfectly fine and I love my Mazda 3. To sum it up, I got in a car accident. I didn't post it anywhere on social media because I was just kind of like really upset about it and just kind of getting over it that was probably like the scariest car accident i've gotten so this is the story we were in seattle and i had a really bad migraine so i had my friend drive instead of me because i was having bad migraines at the time i don't know why it literally lasted like a week so i was like not feeling it i couldn't i did not want to drive i just wanted to sleep so i had my friend drive <sighs> Dang it. So pretty much to sum it up, I wasn't driving my car. This happened almost a month ago and I didn't post on social media about it because I just didn't find the need to and I was just kind of getting over it. And I'm so thankful and blessed that no one got hurt because that was a really scary car accident. Like 
don't like it and I'm glad that the other people are okay too. I had my friend drive for me and I was in the passenger seat and then my friend Alex and Kirsten were in the back. Pretty much we were turning and he wasn't paying a lot of attention and then the people behind us crashed into us. The people behind us were like either going too fast or like way too close to us. All of the airbags went off which hurt really bad. Also shout out to Mazda 3s because none of us really got hurt. Thank God all of us were wearing a seatbelt and ugh. Because it could have been a lot worse if one of us were not wearing a seatbelt. I realized after the fact that the airbags went off because I was just... The adrenaline, I was just like, what just happened? Like, it happened so quick. But yeah, my car is messed up. R.I.P. Molly the Mazda. Then the police and some firefighters came and they were like making sure we were okay and like kept asking if we needed to go to the hospital or whatever, but all of us were like totally okay. Alex and Kirsten bumped heads and like their shoulders were like kind of hurt. And then for me, my migraine, that just made it worse and my neck like hurt really bad from like the airbag is deploying. But yeah, I ended up just going to the hospital the next day just to make sure everything was fine because my neck, like I couldn't turn my head this way. <sighs> I'm so glad no one got hurt because it was such a scary thing. It could have been a lot worse. Like we're not replaceable. The car is so I just kept reminding myself that yeah it sucked that my car got totaled and stuff but I would rather have my car get totaled like a million times instead of like someone getting hurt they pretty much took my car and then they were gonna make sure that the axle wasn't bent or whatever because then that just means your car is like messed up but then I got a call back a couple like a week later and they're like they told me that pretty much like everything was broken and they're surprised that like none of us got hurt which is like wow I'll insert some pictures on the screen but yeah not a good time. I'm sad because that was my first car and I had so many memories, but at the same time, I got a new car, which I'm so blessed to be able to like get a new car because I would have used Uber. That's why I got a new car is because my car is done. Everything was pretty much like, there was no hope for that car. Like we asked the adjuster and he was like, Nope. Be safe guys, make sure you're paying attention when you're driving. But yeah, I just wanted to answer that because I've been getting a lot of tweets and questions about like, what happened to your car? Like, why'd you get a new car and what car you got? Now, you're probably wondering what car I got. If you guys have me on Snapchat, you would already know what kind of car I have, so definitely add me on Snapchat. Just so you don't miss out and you guys are kind of like in the loop more because I post so much on Snapchat. But if you guys don't have me on Snapchat, then the new car that I got. Let's take a look. Let's take a look.